I've been utilizing the food bank to help spread the cost of whatnot. And last week coming in here, I felt a serious concern with how empty our shelves are. That's Samantha Martin, a single mom of five, talking about the current state of the North County Food Pantry in Elk. Volunteers with the Food Pantry say their clientele has nearly doubled in recent years, yet their budget has remained the same. They say their donated food supply from Second Harvest has also drastically decreased, and they can't afford to purchase any more food. Marissa Rio shows us the severity of the issue. The North County Food Pantry is a place that serves roughly 100 low-income families a week, a nonprofit that is vital to the community. But inside, bare shelves plague the pantry. Inside the cooler that usually holds boxes and boxes of produce is now emptier than it's ever been. We're going to have kids being hungry for the summer, and I'm not okay with that. Samantha Martin utilizes the food pantry to make sure her family is fed. As she shows me the one box of food she was able to get today, she says she's usually able to leave with more but with the shelves running so low Samantha will have to make her one box of food last the whole week for her entire family of six if I can't afford the $10 for a five pound bag of flour at the store and they don't have it here then I can't make what my kids are accustomed to it's to the point where I'm keeping a milk cow so that I have fresh milk and fresh butter. Volunteers with the food pantry say they are in need of non-perishables like soups, noodles, cereal, cake mix, and more. The New Hope Resource Center is part of the same nonprofit that the North County Food Pantry is, and it's struggling as well. The director here says that funding is so low that they are currently in a spending freeze, meaning they're not able to provide the critical services that they do for clients as they usually do. Those services include rental assistance, utility assistance, and gas cards. Gas cards are really key in North Spokane County due to the fact that we don't have public transportation in the majority of our service area. So the low income families, they really rely on those gas cards to get to the grocery store, also to get to doctor's appointments. For information on ways you can make monetary donations or food donations, visit our website at kxly.com. Reporting in North Spokane County, Marissa Rio, 4 News Now.